Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am reviewing the movie Ant-Man. This video was made almost six years ago, I think. I am not really sure. But the movie is basically like Scott Lang has to like embrace his inner hero or whatever to help Hank Pym protect the secret, the secret about the Ant Man, and basically, um, Hank's old, a uh, partner, um, intern guy, um, Darren Cross, has like taken over like Pym Tech and now has created something called the Yellow Jacket, which is specifically made to like help military on like stealth missions when it comes to shrinking and all. We get like subtle nods to the Avengers after Age of Ultron. Like Falcon showing up and Scott completely wrecking him. Does moves to, to Falcon how um like Hope Tot Hank goes in, Scott goes into Sam's Falcon suit and destroys, like, the flying pack. I keep seeing memes from Falcon and Winter Soldier where, like, it's like Bucky getting his ar new arm from Infinity War, but instead, like, Sam gets, like, Buzz Lightyear wings. Anyway, the heist. And, and... Scott and Hank must get into the um, room where the yellow jacket is being displayed and destroy it and leave in destroying all evidence of how it works. But of course, Darren Cross is like, I know more than you. You think I'm not going to let you through like my security and stuff? Like I'm already going to know you're going to be here. Anyway, the heist is in session. Um, we get Luis as Michael Pena. I, sorry if I pronounced the last name wrong. Um, we got Kurt, Luis's partner. Sorry if I don't remember. I don't remember the actor who plays Kurt. But the third helper is um, Dave, played by the rapper T.I., who actually, um, who my dad actually met. In real life, I don't remember where or when, but he said he has met him before. Then we get like um st the Stanley cameo at the end. Rest in peace, peace, my man. Then we get like we get funny moments where like where Scott is training, he shrinks, grows, slams into a door. Then we get this scene of Scott trying to get yellow jack soup. Then. This all happens. Scott starts beating up people. Then he beats up a worker for the Ten Rings organization that is actually set up for Marvel Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Anyway, Scott goes after Darren, shrinking down and stopping his goons from, like, stopping him and the others in the room to escape. Scott gets cornered and the little, like, building model made by Darren about like the new like company he would make with the money from the yellow jack suit Luis actually can't comes in and saves Scott Scott looks unharmed somehow they also decided to blow the place up to destroy every evidence Scott gets on the plane, starts fighting, fighting Darren when Darren's in the um, suit. Copyrighted music. That's why you don't hear any audio. And basically, they start fighting in the briefcase. And in the movie, Darren actually shows off all what the suit can do from the presentation. They fight at a family's home, fight with their immense strength. Then Scott whacks Yellow Jacket into a bug zapper. Yeah, that's one way to go out. Oh, Yellow Jackets vibes goes for Cassie, 
then they fight on this little play area where there's a train that is Thomas. Then they fight on the train with Scott throwing the caboose sets at Yellow Jacket. Then the bullets, bullet ants help Scott fight Yellow Jacket. Yellow Jacket unfortunately died the ants. Scott throws the brick, knocks Yellow Jacket off, and then we get this funny scene of this. Scott shrinks down and destroys the Yellow Jacket suit from the inside. Also going subatomic, shrinking forever to the quantum realm. And then we get the weird scene after this. Kevin Feige or whoever made these movies, stop making scenes where people lose their arms. I mean, come on, man. We got so many other scenes. Editor me, roll the clip. Anyway, Scott grabs a grow disc and takes the internal gears out of the um, buckle and applies his grow disc to grow out of the subatomic state. And while doing this, you actually see silhouettes of Janet Van Dyne, Hank's um, wife, that um, seemed to die during a past mission in 1987 when... I think the Soviet, maybe, I don't remember, launched a bomb with titanium steel on the U.S. Um, Janet and Hank actually tried to stop it, but the metal was made out of titanium, so they couldn't cut through it. Hank tried to go subatomic to destroy the inside, but his belt wasn't working properly. So Janet decided to sacrifice herself, go subatomic, destroy the bomb, and then... Shrink forever in quantum space. But then it reveals that she's alive and not shrinking in Ant-Man Loire's parade. Anyway, Scott comes home to see Cassie once again. And then you know it's Cassie when you see her name on in blocks on the wall. So this is my video. He also, one last thing, Scott also um, shows up in scenes in Captain America Civil War. Shows up in a sequel. Ant-Man and the Wasp shows up in Avengers Endgame and will show up in his newest movie really seen in 2023, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, that will have King the Conqueror. People who watch Loki will know who I'm talking about. Um, thank you guys all for watching. Please like and subscribe to the video and hit that bell notification so you never miss another upload. And yeah. Please like and subscribe. Sorry, I repeated myself. Goodbye.